Hello again. Uh, it's been a while since I've done a recipe, um, so today I'm going to do one called Gravelax. Now, Gravelax is a beautiful salmon dish that comes from the Baltic region, so Sweden, Norway, um, and thereabouts. And it's also prevalent in places like Iceland, and it's still actually a practice of curing fish that's still used today. Now, originally dating back hundreds of years, they used to bury the fish in the sand, actually just above the shoreline, um, which would act as a, as a curing process for the meat. But today we're actually gonna do it in the kitchen with some key ingredients and create some beautiful gravel eggs. Now, if you're a salmon fan, you're gonna love this. It's super easy and produces a beautiful looking dish. So, um, because it's just me and I've only got my hands to film this, I'm actually going to um, kind of pan over what we have so you can see what it is you need to do this yourself. Um, so yeah, let's start. Okay, so starting with our instrument, we have one pestle and mortar. One beautiful side of Norwegian salmon. It was frozen at source, sent all the way to here to New Zealand. It's beautiful, the color is incredible on it. So that's what we're going to use. Uh, we have a mixing bowl, we have some demerara sugar, a lemon from the tree outside, some freshly chopped dill, some salt, peppercorns, and coriander seeds. A preparation board and a pair of hands. First things first, we're gonna take off our tail Use both hands. And we're also gonna take off just above the shoulder, if it had shoulders, our head. We are then simply going to cut that in two equal parts. Again, using both hands. Oh, and don't fear about those that I cut off earlier. That's dinner. Now, working with cups, we're going to take one cup of demerara sugar, or natural sugar, and we're going to put a so half a tablespoon of peppercorns, half a tablespoon of coriander seeds, and then finally half a cup of salt. So once you've combined all your dry goods, your peppercorns, your coriander seeds, your salt and your sugar, you've given it a smash around in the pestle and mortar and you have this beautiful fragrant mixture of salt and sweet and it's amazing. As I said in the last shot, remember to keep that beautiful skin on because that's what we're gonna put on the outside as we sandwich this. Now, the recipe that I've normally worked with, I've used fresh dill like, um, kind of sheaths of fresh dill, they didn't have any in the supermarket, so I'm actually going for this little bad boy here. So I'm actually going to add that into this mixture here um, and get it to kind of emulsify around. I really wish we had smell vision because, wow, that smells incredible. So that's our mix, ready to go onto our salmon, and then we're gonna sandwich it together. And what you'll have is this sandwich of all this goodness rubbed all over, and then we're gonna wrap it in some cling film, and that's gonna be it, ready to go in the fridge. So what I've done is taken the mixture, sprinkled it onto the sheets of cling film. I'm gonna place my first side of salmon on that, and then start putting on my mixture, making sure there's a nice, healthy coating right the way to all the corners. Don't worry about what falls off the sides because that's actually gonna envelop the actual piece of fish. Put that all the way up there. Do, 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 do. Make sure you get all those corners. OCD kicking in. Like, seriously. Beautiful. Okay. So I've placed the curing mixture on the salmon. And now I'm going to add some of the freshly sliced lemons. Just one. I've cut them quite fine. Probably about the same size as what you'd go for for your gin and tonic. One in each one. In each corner, like so. Beautiful, lid on, side on, wrapped up in foil, popped in the fridge, compressed, pierced. Oh my God, I'm getting excited. It's gonna be amazing. So now it's beautifully wrapped. I'm going to put said piece of salmon onto the tray. I'm gonna take a little knife. I'm just going to 
here, some holes, just so some excess moisture can come off as the curing uh, mixture draws out the moisture. I'm going to pop it in the fridge for at least 48 hours, turning every 12 hours, um, just to allow that product to really, really mix around and all that excess moisture to come out. I'm going to serve this bad boy probably from about Thursday onwards, so watch this space. I'm actually going to weight mine down with a cast iron pot, which I'm hoping is just about going to fit in the fridge. So, bear with me. Said fridge. Fingers crossed it fits. Excuse my backside. Perfect. In. So it's been 48 hours. It's been wrapped in its, uh, in its curing stuff. The smell is insane. There is moisture everywhere. It's obviously been leaking through. Now I'm gonna take it out. I'm gonna wash it, place it on board and slice it. All right. So initially I was going to rinse off any residual kind of um, product that was left, I guess, the curing product, but I'm not going to because it tastes incredible. Um, and it's not overpowering at all. In fact, it's absolutely enhancing. So I'm gonna slice it up as it is and let's have a go. That's all just off one side. It tastes incredible. 